Welcome back, everybody. We're back together with another video. And it's amazing when movies are not woke, people will actually go and watch it. Now, Deadpool and uh, Wolverine, I remember they announced this movie about a uh, little over a year ago. And a lot of people were responding to a uh, Hugh Jackman coming back as a uh, Wolverine. Of course, he was in all the X-Men movie. But this movie set a box office record for um, a rated R movie. Kind of funny how that works because we're actually hearing that the movie is not woke. We haven't seen it, by the way. But a lot of people are loving the movie. And Wesley Snipes is in it as Blade as well. And it has a 96% with the audience. Funny how that works, right? Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. Stop the propaganda. Write a good story. Write a good movie. And the people will come. Mm -hmm. Now, when I heard that the movie wasn't woke, I was thinking to myself, yeah, this movie's going to make some money. And this is a Disney movie, by the way. And it made money. However, here's the media. Gay jokes in Deadpool and Wolverine spark backlash among LGBTQ movie critics. They are triggered by jokes. It depends on what kind of jokes. To me, to me, it's fair game when it comes to movies. I mean, movies are entertainment. Yes. I mean, I've heard everything, you know, throughout um, my years of going to movies. And uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, uh, Deadpool is definitely more of a comedy. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to make people laugh. Stand-up comedians have been making uh, gay jokes forever. There's been jokes about Asian people. There's been jokes about black people. There's been jokes about everybody. That's comedy. But they're triggered by this. It's a movie with jokes. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, like I said, but I'm willing to bet it's probably a bunch of nothing. Probably not. I don't know what kind of joke it is, but sometimes joke can go too far and it turns out not to be funny anymore. Like, I guess... Usually not in the movies. Usually it's not, so I'm not sure. But let's just say that I kind of get offended by the reason... I'm not sure if the if what they are doing were joke, but it's an insult where the trans woman community or something they did mock like Christ or something. Oh yeah, that was actually in the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Yeah, that's not funny. Well, they took um, transgenders and um, drag queens. And one of the, one of these people I said actually had their balls hanging out on live TV. Yeah. Yeah, that's if they think that's kind of, it's a joke that it's not a joke that is mocking. Yeah, that is mocking, but not as saying, oh no, it's not. Um, it wasn't meant to be on the Last Supper in uh, Jesus. That is a very insult. That's, that's very very offensive. But you know, off color jokes, you know about gay people, black people, whatever in movies, you know. That's entertainment. What they did at the Olympus, that was not entertainment. That was just, I mean, it was actually more than that. All the other stuff, everything was like LGBT and drag and all of that other stuff. Same people that want to groom your kids, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's, that is not the kind of joke that I want. Yeah. But you know what? When it comes to the LGBT stuff, that community is so protected, man. You can't even, it's gotten to the point to where, like if Tom Hanks, remember mm -hmm. the movie uh, Philadelphia that yeah. he did? He was very, very good in that movie. He played a gay man. Tom Hanks is not gay. But he's an actor, so he was playing it. But today, he would get crushed if he actually played, what was his character's name? Um, Andrew Beckett. That was his name. Yeah, Denzel he was a Washington. lawyer. Yeah, he was a lawyer. Denzel Washington was in the movie, too. And Denzel Washington actually made some gay comments in um, the movie. He said he... His character was like, I don't like that stuff. He said it pisses him off. If he made that movie today, he would be killed for doing that movie. 
Yeah. And that movie was very well received. But Tom Hanks would not be able to play that character now because he's not gay. I mean, it's called acting, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, he wouldn't be able to do it today. They'd be so triggered. It's just so insane. Let jokes be jokes. I mean, dark comedy is it's fun. It's funny. And that that's one of the things that has destroyed um like stand up comedy, especially now. I mean, you know they've been going after Dave Chappelle now because he tells um uh transgender jokes, gay jokes too. Well, people shouldn't take joke very seriously because it's a joke. But when people take joke seriously that can be something. Yeah. And you know the media, man, they're going to do everything in their power to protect the LGBT alphabet mafia at all costs. Um, what does it say here? Oh, right here. I think they give an example of it. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine features an abundance of gay panic jokes made at the expense of his two uh, male superhero protagonists. The spandex stress, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, and his extremely muscular buddy Wolverine, Hugh, Hugh Jackman, since Deadpool's sexuality has long uh, been a matter of enjoyable speculation among fans, he is pansexual in the original comments. Many viewers are interpreting the jokes as something of an in-joke themselves, taking the franchise's ambiguously gay subtext to another often raunchier level. Ryan Reynolds admitted, appeared to admit as much that he posted a YouTube promo that was an overt parody of a semen facial. So that's <laughs> the trick. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. I'm not even going to play it. Uh, gay movie critics aren't laughing. The Guardian critic uh, Guy Lodge led the grievance parade, slamming the movie for what he deemed was his schoolyard homophobia. Uh, quote, same sex attraction is thus treated as little more than a gag, neither fulfilled nor corrected by the film itself, he wrote. It's a taunting akin to juvenile schoolyard homophobia, um, scarcely remedied by Deadpool himself being uh, queer identified. At this point, the next time Disney dredges up the character, it might be more progressive to draw less attention to his pansexuality. That, or just simply let let him fuck Wolverine. <laughs> Hell. Oh, God. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, they're triggered by stuff like that. Yeah, I would say if it's a joke, just don't take it seriously. But, you know, some crazy people take joke and will think that the whole group is like that and that can be kind of offensive, I guess. Yeah. These people in. But when people say it's a joke, don't take it seriously because not everyone. Let's just, for example, just say like, um, okay, let's just a simple step saying that all. Asian cannot speak English, good English. They speak broken English. And that's probably a joke. And people sometimes say that it's a joke, but it's not every Asian. I mean, there's some Asian, they speak very good English. Well, you know what? You know? Speaking of, um, remember that movie with uh, Eddie Murphy? Um, it's called A Norbit. He actually played, Eddie Murphy's black. He played an old Asian guy in that movie. Mm-hmm. And he had like a broken English accent in the movie. Yeah. And it wasn't even offensive. No, it's not offensive because it's just, it's kind of a joke. I mean, he doesn't represent all Asian speak broken English because there's most Asian, they speak good English. So. Yeah, it just depends on the person. Yeah, it depends on the person. So you can't say oh all Asians speak broken English and then just go out and tell everybody saying oh all Asians they can't speak English you know yeah yeah 
I mean, you... of course, there is some Asian. I mean, I speak basic English. Yeah. But it, it's different for you. I mean, you're bilingual too. Well, some people say I speak broken or whatever uh, you, basic no, English. No, you don't speak broken well, English. Well, it doesn't you know. matter. I mean, I got over it. It doesn't matter. I mean, I do have problems speaking, but hey, don't worry. There's the people that's born here. You can't understand anything they say. So. so. But、um, I'm just saying, just because I can't speak good English doesn't mean all Asian cannot speak good English, you yeah. know. Yeah.、Uh, gonna leave right there, guys. I mean, what do you guys think of this? The media triggered over gay jokes. Is that's just completely ridiculous. So, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.